This is Lola. Lola does not have a bright future because she is on a fur farm. She's one of thousands suffering on this farm, like her neighbor Milo. Less than a year old, Milo's short life is already over. Millions of animals like him suffer and die every year for fur fashion that nobody needs. Fur production causes unspeakable suffering, but it also has dire consequences for the environment. For a start, mink, fox and raccoon dogs on fur farms eat huge quantities of meat like chicken and fish offal. You need 563 kilograms of meat feed to produce just one kilogram of fur. And that comes with a cost to the planet. Fur farmed animals also create huge amounts of environmentally harmful waste, producing damaging substances like nitrous oxide, ammonia and phosphorus that can pollute the air and waterways. Nutrient-rich excrement can cause algal blooms, which can choke rivers and lakes. Environmental damage doesn't stop on the farm. In factories, fur pelts need to be treated to stop them rotting. Huge quantities of salt are needed to dry the pelts, and chemicals are used to process and dye them. Formaldehyde and chromium are known to be toxic and carcinogenic. Fur production also uses vast quantities of water. To produce one kilogram of fur uses 29,000 litres of water, equivalent to around 360 bathtubs. Contrary to what the fur trade wants shoppers to believe, fur is not natural and comes with a hefty environmental price tag. In fact, the production of real fur has a carbon footprint roughly 20 times larger than other materials, including polyester, acrylic and cotton, and is more damaging in terms of greenhouse gases, such as carbon dioxide, methane and nitrous oxide. If we stopped farming foxes, mink and raccoon dogs for fur in Europe, we would save almost 300,000 tons of greenhouse gas emissions and 11,800 tons of air emissions. Let's make this dream a reality, so that their reality doesn't remain a nightmare. The future of fashion is fur-free.